This video demonstrates how to use the free account with SurveyMonkey to conduct survey, collect data, and do your analysis. First, you go to SurveyMonkey.com and create a new account for yourself. I use this tool frequently to conduct surveys for my classes and for my research. For example, I did an e-learning sur skills survey with a new cohort in which student would tell me their skill range in different e-learning subjects. And then I can look at the data. Let me show you the survey first. The survey asks a few simple questions. Their name, their interest, or how they rate their self in, about e-learning knowledge and how they rate their skill set in different topics. And at the end, they submit the survey. With free accounts, you can ask up to 10 questions and survey up to 100 people. So for our class assignment, it will be sufficient. And to look at the results, here's, it will give me a graphic format. Let me resize the window so you can see better. Again, it will show me, I can go to analyze results and look at the data that I have collected. So it gives me a graphic presentation of the frequency counts and percentage of each question that I ask. So it's a very quick way of collecting, collecting data and do your analysis. So how do you start? So here's a new survey that I'm about to create. You go to, when, once you create your account, you go to my survey and choose a new survey. So you can click on create survey and do a new survey. Since in a trial account, you can only do a new survey. So you would create a new survey from scratch create survey. Here you can create a title. So I'm going to say technology use and create a survey. Next you decide a theme. You can choose different color. I'm going to stick with what I have here and ask a question. And add a question here. Yeah, I can ask for, for example, their gender. So I create a question called gender. And, well, it's usually male or female, but maybe there are other choices, but I'm gonna stick with a traditional format, save changes. Here, there's my question. Well, if you say, I don't want it to be in a vertical format, I wanna be in a horizontal format, I can go back to edit question and choose display choices as horizontal buttons and save my changes again and that's in horizontal format. Then I can ask another question, say um, multiple choices and with multiple answers and you can always look at the examples on what are these different formats look like. Multiple choices with multiple answers will be like this. You can, you can check multiple answers. My matrix of choices will be like this. You can have different topics and have them select a choice. So the example page is very useful. Next, maybe I'll ask them their skill set. Do a matrix and only one answer per row. Uh, how often? Do you use Web 2.0 tools? Question text, and then I'm going to give provide a few choices. Okay, and then I'm going to say, oh, and then they, this will be the choices they can choose. 
and then that's it. So save changes. Now I have another question that asks three things and then give them a choice on the frequency. So that's how you can create a survey. Once you're done creating your survey, you need to collect responses. How do you create create responses? You click on this tab, say collect responses, and maybe create a link to send in your own email message. So that's what I'm going to choose. Next step, you're going to give me a URL that I can send to people I want to survey. It could be your fellow classmates, your co-workers, your family's friends. So highlight this URL and paste it to your email message and send it to your friends. And once you have collected some response, once they have responded to your survey, you can analyze results. I have pre-entered, well, entered some data to a previous survey so you can look at it you can analyze the result and look at their responses to your survey and with a trial free account you cannot download the data to an excel spreadsheet but you can look at the results and maybe hand uh, manually enter this data to excel spreadsheet to create graphic forming or copy the graphic here for your presentation. But I will suggest you enter the data to Excel spreadsheet and try some of the uh, chart graphic feature using the charts to present your data. So here's one quick way to collect data using SurveyMonkey. It will be much easier than a paper-based survey. And I'm going to show you one of the survey that I have done. Go to my survey and look at how you can download the data to Excel. So I go to Analyze again. From here, I can download responses. In a free account, you won't be able to see this function is disabled. So I can choose a summary format or or responses collected. Then I can have more options. And the format can be spreadsheet or different format. So I'm going to stick with summary reports for now and choose spreadsheet or HTML format or PDF. Request download. Then in the next page, you'll tell me if my request has been uh, granted and and if it's ready to download, so I can now click on the download button to download the result to my spreadsheet. So I'm going to move to Excel and just show you what I have downloaded. So it, give, it will tell me all the detailed information and their responses to each question. And from here, I can do some tabulation or convert this data into a graphic format.